Okay, December 1st, and this is turning into a production of sorts. I mean, it's about time. I was sort of just experimenting anyway, um, but I really like the look of this. What do you guys think? You like my sign? This was actually a sign I made for Halloween. I spent a lot of time on it, and then no one even saw it because I forgot to put it out. Um, so it only feels right that it is um, being used in this capacity, because why, why wouldn't it be? I had some pretty interesting dreams last night, um, as in sort of all over the place, and I woke up a lot earlier today than I normally do, and I tried in like half a sleep state to write some of those ideas down. I've been liking the consistency of, of doing these morning messages, so we'll see what we get into today. I'm just sort of organizing myself here. Everything had come out, so now it's got to go away, and we'll see what we, what wants to be read. I feel a little bit anxious, and, um, it didn't really, I didn't really start until I started recording, so I, I'm not sure what that's all about. <clears throat> um, hey, let's try this. Um, small business shout out today. God, this smells so good. It's Hugh Goodwood, hand poured in Chicago. They're a candle making company. They also make playlists. Whoops, where are we? They make playlists to go along with their scents and their candles and they make soaps and I got this candle on Juneteenth at a black mall. This is hands down the best candle I've ever owned and it's finally, it's finally over. So Hugh, you're going to be hearing from me and I'll, I'll probably get myself another candle or two or three. Go through a lot of candles on this little altar. I love it. Whew, um, yep. The room smells like matches and smoke and candle wax and yesterday's burning of Palo Santo. <laughs> it's so nice. Let's see where we go. Feel very unsettled right now. Not sure what that's about. A change in the wind. Okay. Chop wood in peace. This is how it came out. Although, that's why there's all this nervous energy. Oop, oop. A change in the wind and chop wood in reverse, and then peace. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know this time around. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit like my feelings are getting in the way of this reading. A change in the wind, that's definitely, that's about when something, something is shifting or changing, but in, in sort of unexpected ways. And then chop wood is this idea of, of staying busy. So I wonder if there is some sort of um, necessary evil in which to, you know, that needs to transpire. Like some, if everything happens for a reason, even the bad things, the things that are uncomfortable and make, make us anxious, we have to go through those times to find peace. Maybe this is a message about
having faith in, you know, in this time transpiring, this difficult time of transition um, that uh, the collective is going through, um, needing to find um, chop wood. So like the routines and rituals that help us feel a bit more peaceful. In the card of peace, there is an egg and a star. And there's little hearts and a dove. I feel like that's alluding to some kind of precipice of a new beginning, something um, on the verge of transformation, something wanting to be transformed. Yeah, don't fight the change. Everything will turn out as it should. Mm -hmm. Chop wood is about being grounded in everyday experience. Like I said, so uh, some sort of like routine or rituals and humility. Yeah, just being very real about what's going on. It's almost like being real about that you don't know what's going on. Uh-huh. And the protection message of chopped wood, I've never read this before, so I'm, I'm gonna actually just read the whole thing and commit it to memory. Are you an armchair astronaut? Do you dream of wealth and fame, big ideas, inventions, or desires with a capital D? The appearance of this card is a sign that you might be devoting far too much time to daydreaming and talking about your dreams. You have to get out of the chair to make things happen. You actually have to do something. Start with a small task. Remember the big dream becomes a reality only after you have begun to take incremental steps. Take one step towards the gods and they will take 10 steps towards you. Ooh la la. So there's, there's a need to be grounded in this time of shifting, of changing, but it's also a message of remember, remembering your dreams or if you are dreaming, then taking some sort of practical action towards dreams. I love that. I think this is a great time of year to be doing that. And peace, freedom from attachment, radical acceptance. Yes, becoming at peace. It's about having a clear vision about your work and how you create prosperity. This is a calling into stepping into power. So it's almost like there is, if there's an uncomfortable situation in your life right now, that is, it is changing you and your character in such ways of, you know, pointing towards your true north and or you stepping into your power in some significant way. And the uh, light just flickered. Guys, this is why I, I... The more technology I have around me when I do these readings, the more sort of off-put I am. I also noticed that the sun got brighter. Maybe that's why the light's like, you don't need me anymore. We got the sun, the sun's out. Amazing. Hmm. Yeah, hang in there. Message for today is sort of hang in there and confront those, those weird feelings because I like to say sadness and Anger are very useful emotions because they're telling us a lot about who we are and, and what we want out of life. There is a message of action here, but then again, peace is saying just being is enough. Some sort of radical acceptance. I don't know. Knight of Wands, inspired action. There it is. Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, the Magician, 
the star, healing, death, transformation, queen of cups, intuition, seven of wands. So the wheel of fortune, I feel is, is definitely echoing this change in the wind. A cycle is ending or a cycle is beginning. We are way too bright now, so let's stop doing filmmaking. All right. Have we got this? Have we got this? Have we got this? Change in the wind and the wheel of fortune. This is about cycles. This is about a pattern. Um, Emperor is showing up, which is confirming chop wood, taking action. Stop dreaming and take action. And the challenge here is the magician manifesting. What are you manifesting? If you're not taking some sort of practical action towards your dreams, you're not really manifesting. It's not enough to dream, but it's it's a you've got to take some sort of inspired action here. The transformation that's happening is is something to do with feeling more in touch with your emotions, with your true self, with your intuition. That's what's happening here. Transformation towards the Queen of Cups. I'll get this one day, guys. I'll get it. I'll get it one day. And then we have the Seven of Wands. I see the Seven of Wands here as standing up for yourself. So, um, standing up for what you believe in. I believe the Hierophant was at the bottom. Yeah. The Hierophant, Taurus, Throat Chakra, speaking, <laughs> speaking truth. I feel like some, some folks have been going through a process of healing. I mean, definitely, I know I have, I know a lot of people who have been a lot of people have been sort of waking up this year and last year. I mean, it, it makes perfect sense. Also, did you know we officially entered the age of Aquarius like in March of this year? It is the Great Awakening. And I, and I think that there's also some, some really big stuff coming uh, next year. Maybe that's where all this anxiety is, <laughs> is coming from. It's, we cannot perceive the changes that are happening right now but a lot of people are waking up to their own healing, the things that need to happen. They're, they're waking up to um, a, a mind shift that's more about taking inspired action instead of dreaming all the time. We have the Knight of Cups here as well. <sighs> Two sort of different approaches. The Knight of Cups is the very slow, hyper-romantic, not super realistic approach. I feel if, if you continue on this in this way, you might still be feeling like out in the cold is and why aren't I getting what I wish for? It's because the Knight of Cups isn't, I don't think that the Knight of Cups is really putting it out there. I think the Knight of Cups is sort of like, this is my beautiful bubble of my world and my sphere of, the sphere of my world and, and my desires touches people around me, but, it, but not in such a way that is, is actually impacting your life or changing your life in some significant way. What's required instead is the Knight of Swords. Very fast, very fast, quick energy. You know, the Six of Cups is here. The Six of Cups is nostalgia um, about the past, maybe a past person. And so if there's something that's changing here, if the Wheel of Fortune is there's a new cycle beginning, there might be something about someone from the past coming back in helping with this transformation 
or triggering some sort of um, hyper romantic response. I don't know that this is about true love as much as it is about healing though. It is about healing and stepping into your power so that you can see what needs to be done for the future. Let's clarify. Oh man, where do I begin? Let's, let's see what the star is about, the healing. Ace of Wands, King of Wands, the moon. Yeah. Yeah, you're, the healing is about doing away with the things which have been unknown to you. So if there's, there are, whew, I feel like moments of clarity are going to, not even moments of clarity, but like discovering that which has been unknown to you up until now will be incredibly inspiring and sort of leading this direction. Um, I feel the energy of sort of like, I'm sick of not knowing. I'm sick of not, I'm sick of being afraid. I'm tired of being afraid of not knowing. And then, and then we have the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands. It's almost like someone here is getting the courage. King of Wands, Leo, Ace of Wands. Hmm. That's what the healing is about. It's like, I can no longer, it is no longer acceptable for things to be the way that they are. Which is great, but that doesn't automatically know we mean that we know where we're going either. How about uh, the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. It's kind of saying the same thing. Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups, King of Swords. There is a... There is a realization or a truth of like that some cycle needs to end, the cycle of stagnation, the cycle of um, disappointment. I love the Four of Cups. Look, the Four of Pentacles, she's she's holding on to so, so diligently what she has that she's unable to make a step forward. This is also about, I think, like protecting our energy a bit. This is what I'm seeing here. The Four of Cups and the Four of Pentacles is about protecting our energy. So if the healing is about stepping out of feeling comfortable, be, you know, comfortable in the things which hurt us, comfortable with situations that ultimately stop us from moving forward, the King of Swords then comes in with a bunch of clarity and truth and saying, this is what I need, this is what I want out of this situation. What I need is <laughs> no more unknowns. Cut the bullshit. Wow. What about this action? Like if there was some action here, there was um, the emperor and chop wood in reverse was, was indicating some sort of like stop dreaming and take action. What is the advice there? Page of cups, justice, 10 of pentacles. So part of the grounding that needs to happen and in, in, in order to take action to, to sort of balance out these Ten of Pentacles, to, to balance out your energies and move towards your Ten of Pentacles, the grounding has to come from some sort of um, daily practice or ritual. And so the Page of Cups is here to remind us that, to me it's like a, listen, listen. Like, um, something unexpected is coming this way, a message, 
Um, it could be a mess, a literal message, but it could also be just like messages from your subconscious or your intuition. So this is a time of getting very quiet. It's about releasing expectations, releasing, um, it is about sort of like radical acceptance, just like let, let everything go here so that you can see what needs to be done so that you can hear and see things a little bit more clearly. It's all about removing expectations here. Like, all right, look, the Ten of Pentacles showed up. Chop Wood message was, you know, armchair astronaut. That's what this feels like, where it is a bit, it's a bit dreamy. There's like so so much so much dreamy energy. Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. It's sort of like, okay, yeah, you're getting in touch with what you want, with how you feel, your intuition. You're maybe making some movement, even if it's just energetically towards towards this. The thing to take action on now this is a message for somebody like there's this is a um, you are deserving of more you deserve more magician please king of cups five of swords the lovers. I. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some people are manifesting another person, like a love interest. Like this is about manifesting a love interest that. Oh my goodness. My head is sort of spinning now. But like. like your true, your true soulmate, like your true partner, as in someone who can stand the test of time, someone who's not going to like be shaken easily. The King, King of Cups is all about like being so in touch with your emotions that you, um, you can tackle anything. You can weather any storm and the lovers here, some sort of deep connection. Someone who's willing to do whatever it takes. The Five of Swords. So. Interesting. All right. Um, death. There's transformation here. There's like a lot of, a lot of big cards in here. Five of Wands, Two of Cups, King of Pentacles. Uh-huh. The transformation that's that's happening here is about a knowing and understanding other people's energies from your own. Um, if if you if if this reading is about going to your true north and sort of finding your power through this uncomfortable change, part of the discomfort is going to be dealing with white noise. There's going to be a lot of a lot of things to sift through. But look what's coming. Be true to yourself and stay in your power. This is the message here for, for, for the death card, the transformation. <clears throat> I think that's why. Was this the clarification for healing? or the Knight of Wands, or the Wheel of Fortune. Man, I can't remember anymore. But I think that's why that these fours showed up, the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. It's like this energy of like, I need to protect myself. I'm trying to, I'm not trying to get myself in any fights. I'm not trying to get myself into any sort of situations with anybody. Um, a fresh slate, a new cycle, a fresh slate. 
the transition is never comfortable, but there are some really positive omens here of, of healing, of manifesting your dreams, a partner. Um, and what comes first, I think, is this radical acceptance. So why don't we clarify this as a final thing, this peace and acceptance. I see the Six of Cups, which could be re reconciliation. See how they're offering some sort of thing. So this is also indicates to me sort of like maybe past, past traumas that we romanticize. Oy, oy, oy. Five of Cups, Six, sorry, Five of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Knight of Cups. Hmm. If this is what's coming, it is a bit about making peace, reconciliations. Yes, acceptance. Accept matters for what they are. So let's get a, three cards on just on this thought here. Queen of Swords, Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. It's going to be harder for some people <laughs> to do. The Queen of Swords is trying to discern, literally, you know, the, sev the Seven of Cups choices. Queen of Swords is the card of discernment. Seven of Cups is the card of confusion and choices. That's why it's so difficult to find peace, and that's why there's so much anxiety here. And then we have our grounding force again. So, yeah. <laughs> in, in all cases here, when I'm seeing, especially the cups and the swords, over the course of this reading, there's been a general progression of the cups and swords, cups and swords, which is very interesting to me because um, weeks ago I was doing a lot of readings and... I mean, I always am, but the readings were showing up as balancing heart and mind. So now I'm seeing evidence of sort of, it's almost like a ladder. Like if your feelings get to a certain state of, of acceptance, then now your mind has to accept certain things. And not just about acceptance, but about sort of where are they going to align? It's almost like playing a video game and you're like building up your skills. Um, if I was a video game character and life was a game, I'd say I put all my skill points into pentacles. I got a lot of skill points in pentacles here. In the 3D real tangible skills, that's sort of um, what I'm pretty good at. And now I think, you know, for me and for many other people, it is about graduating these cups. So. That's what I got. Um, take it as it resonates. Ground yourself. Find acceptance for what's happening in your life. Everyone's being shook up a just a little bit, especially towards the end of the new year. So I hope that you can find peace where you can and that you um, enjoy your day. Thanks. <laughs>